everyone, it's Chris with Expat Theory. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you being here. Thought I'd do a kind of a quick video today. Some of the things I'm seeing. Uh, it's a little departure from my normal videos, but seeing the some of the issues that are coming up, some of the things that are happening with the development of AI. <clears throat> and uh, got to mention... You know, it's kind of getting rough out here for these ladies. You know, um, there's kind of a, almost like a culture war happening between men and women right now, especially in the dating world. <clears throat> you know, guys are getting fed up with being told that, you know, women don't need us. Okay, well, fine. Do your own thing then, you know. Guys are stepping back and uh, letting them find out, you know, uh, Basically, women are not interested in men unless they're exceptional, you know. The very cream of the crop, the top 5%. You got 80% of the women interested in 5% of the men. The rest of us are pretty much invisible to them or creeps or, you know, uh, you know creepy or stalkerish or any, you know, scary, you know. So we... Guys are like, well, I ain't approaching nobody. I ain't asking nobody out. Don't want to date. Don't want to deal with it. You know, they don't need us. They don't want us. Fine. <laughs> you know, and uh, it's causing a lot of problems in the dating world. And then up pops AI, you know, adding to the problems. You know, the problems like um, transgender men. Dominating in women's sports. Transgender men winning beauty pageants. Uh, now we're seeing AI start to pop up and attack them in another area. You know, their thirst traps, their OnlyFans and all this stuff in the adult entertainment industry. Um, AI is going to strip them of that too. You know, they're already developing AI on, like, mostly photographic level. Won't be long, and uh, modeling will be gone. Models will be AI-generated. I'm already seeing it now on Facebook. The capabilities of being able to customize, use any uh, person or body shape or type of size, whatever any background, any environment, any settings can all be customized and modified and, and AI generated. So <clears throat> it won't be long and modeling is going to be AI completely. Uh, the adult industry and the thirst trap stuff with the only fans, there are already accounts out there that are on only fans that are AI generated artwork. Uh, it won't be long before they take the 3D modeling that they are using now, develop it more, take the uh, AI and layer over top of that to make it very realistic. And then maybe integrate those people wearing those suits with all the sensors for body motions and movements to make it more natural. Uh, adult entertainment of the pornographic type will be gone. It'll be AI. Because you can put any body, any person, any body type, any color, shape, form, whatever, into an adult situation and record it and generate it with AI. So, <clears throat> another area that women are going to lose out in. Uh, it's kind of freaky. In a way, you know, and this is just the beginning. I see AI going crazy. I think the world is going to change drastically in a lot of areas. And it's going to affect men, too. It's just kind of funny that it's the beginning stages. It's kind of being used as a tool and um, replacing a lot of things that are typically um, female dominant. So... Yeah, that's coming. And uh, I'm kind of feeling for the ladies a little bit, you know. They're, they're kind of under fire. And 
a lot of it comes back to the whole uh they took fem- the feminist movement and went nuts with it and that that's that's the big problem you know it, it originally was a necessary thing to try to move society towards uh equality but then it shifted into more than equality became superiority and then it went nuts and uh women are already dominating in many categories you know like college graduates and you know they they still say there's a wage gap it's not guys work more dangerous harder jobs that pay more and on an average work week guys are the ones that usually will hang over and do a couple hours of overtime to make sure the job gets done and you know the ladies do not uh put in the amount of dedication and and uh overtime and extra that guys usually do i won't say all cuz it's you know subjective but for the most part they don't and that's why the guys even though they're doing the same job uh, as the ladies might come home with a bigger paycheck because, you know, they put in extra work. <clears throat> the whole wage gap thing is... There's so many variables. You can take that data and turn it to be anything you want it to be. So, of course, you know, the feminazis will continue to push that and say that it's real. And it's not, but... Uh, they're going to be hurting more as AI develops and starts taking more and more uh, pathways away from them. The uh, whole idea and concept that, you know, women don't need men. If you flip that around and put the shoe on the other foot, guys don't really need women either. You know, you want to get all technical about it. I mean, think about it. 100% of my audience is male here, so I can get away with this. Um, at least that's what YouTube statistics and analytics tell me. So um, flip this around for a minute. If a guy is self-sustaining, he takes care of himself. He has his own money, his own apartment, he does his own laundry, takes care of his own cooking and food and needs and cleaning and all of this. He's completely self-sufficient. He's got a job. He's got a couple of buddies he hangs out with. Might have a hobby or two. Or a dog. What does he need a woman for? I'm sure that one thing pops up to most people's mind. That's it. Um, you know, there are other ways around that. And a lot of guys are realizing that they don't need, you know, marriage. They don't need long-term relationships. They're good with situationships where they get what they need to get and get out. And right now it's kind of a cool thing because women are doing the same thing. They're okay with having the situationships. So that's all working out. Until they start crying about, you know, serious relationships, long-term relationships and marriage and all this other stuff. Uh, That's tanking. Birth rates, tanking. Um, We're we're seeing it across the board in every country. Um, It's just a, it's a thing. And AI is going to affect that. Uh, It won't be long, you know, and a lot of the female attention is going to be sucked away by AI. AI is going to take that attention. And, you know, if you le- follow the progressive thoughts, you know, this has probably be men- been mentioned out there in, in the world before, you know, sex bots. You know, when they come up with that idea and actually put it into production, and they are able to take away the only thing that the women really have, <laughs> it's literally going to change culture, society, and life on this planet as we know it. And 
that's a fact and it's coming i mean there are already people out there developing all the bits and pieces and parts that they need to put together it's gonna happen so anyway that's just something i've noticed i mean i've, I've noticed more and more uh I'm seeing a lot of thirst traps and a lot of AI generated stuff on my Facebook feed and I made a Facebook comment about it. Kind of was expecting a lot more pushback. Haven't gotten that yet. But I just posted it last night, so we'll see. We'll see how that plays out. So anyway guys, that was that was the whole thought for this video. I just wanted to put that out there that the world is uh changing. It keeps turning and spinning and New things are coming at us all the time, so buckle up. <laughs> Stuff's happening. Anyway, guys, if you like this content, share it. If you know anybody who's interested in this kind of stuff, share it to them. Uh, if, you know, if you don't mind, hit the like. If you have any comments or whatever, drop them down below. And I'll uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.